Adam here with Wholesale Septic Supply. We're going to go over the uh, different types of aerators there are. Um, you have your linear actions, which are here, and you have your rotary vane here. The main differences on <clears throat> what they do is basically how they work. These air pumps work on a linear action, which means a magnet travels back and forth on a diaphragm pushing the air. Your rotary vanes have a rotor inside. They spin and they have vanes. Um, and that's how they produce air. These are not as affected by back pressure as these are. These will overcome a lot more uh, back pressure compared to these. Your rotary vanes also, uh, they're a little bit louder and they suck a little more power, but typically they last a lot longer than a diaphragm pump. They also cost more. So um, it's more of a plug in, forget and forget type pump. Every six months you should clean this little filter. Uh, just under a water spigot and kind of squeeze it as you're doing it and then squeeze dry it and you pop it back on it's good to go. These pumps generally will go uh, for a very long time. We're talking uh, anywhere from in Texas from six to ten years. These pumps on the other hand will go three to four years. Sometimes they'll go six. In your northern states you'll get more time out of them because they have more seasons uh, and the cold weather helps the diaphragms last longer. So these are more of a workout horse industrial style pump. You can also use these on like a 500 gallon all the way up to 750 on some systems up to a thousand gallons a day. So they're actually more cost effective because when you get into the air pumps on the uh, linear side that go up to uh, 120 liters of air per minute, they actually cost more than just buying a rotary vane. So you get more bang for your buck out of this than you would a bigger uh, linear pump. So when people have a bigger system, we'll generally say, eh, you should use a rotary vane because generally they're going to last longer. Uh, they can do more. They're more uh, versatile and what kind of systems you can put them on. Your high blows, French engines, your 80s are only going to do 500 to uh, 600 gallons. Some systems are approved for 750, but uh, um, generally when you get into your bigger pumps, it's easier just to go with a rotary vane because you're just going to get more out of it. Um, those are your differences. These cost a lot less, so there's a trade-off on everything. So these cost a lot less, they suck less power, rebuild kits are the same price as this. So it kind of averages out, it just depends on what you're looking for. If you want something that you can plug in, you know it's going to work for a really long time, not have to worry about it, you go with the rotary vane. If you want something that's quieter, then you go with this. Generally you can't hear these in the house, you get used to it, the, you know, the noise doesn't bother people. So those are your differences in your pumps. Um, from your rotary vane to your linear pump. That's pretty much it. So if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, let us know. Uh, we'll answer them. You can give us a call at wholesalesepticcsupply.com or you can comment below and we'll answer your questions. Hope you guys have a great day.